and during the January period we do have the African Nation Cup. Andre Onana to Manchester United is the signing of the season. So in this video what I want to say, I want to tell you guys and also have your opinion about this player who has come to United with a reputation of being a very good with his legs and also a revolutionized uh, a way of playing so uh guys please make sure if you learn something from this video click the like on the video and also tell me your opinion and guys please make sure you share these videos that will be so helpful to uh our young community yes i had a chat yesterday with one of uh the delegations, uh, the backroom staff of uh, the Indemitable Lions uh, of Cameroon, because most of them, are in the, uh, I, I, when I was a kid, I played with this, some of these guys. And uh, we had this chat about Andre Onana, and I asked him, what I asked uh, the guy, I don't want to call the name here because he's still working with the national team. Um, what is the force of Andre Onana? What can he tell me about Andre Onana? Because I haven't met Andre Onana physically, but you know, we know him as Cameroonian. So he said, uh, Andre Onana is a goalkeeper which uh, could easily be a football player and we I think we have seen that it is very hot here the sun is just racing on my left and my right sorry which is on your left so he said Andrew Lala is a very good player with his legs that Andrew Nana is a player that reads the game very properly and that will be very helpful for a, very, for a professional club and so whilst he is very good in this uh, sector in terms of playing with his legs he could be a risk playing with defenders who are not very quick if you guys remember during the last World Cup in um, Qatar Andrew Nana played one game with the Cameroon national team and the reason one of the reasons not the only reason but one of the reasons why he was actually he left the team he didn't play the other two games of the group is simply because he wasn't ready to change his style of play and um, the way we played in Cameroon is quite very it's very pragmatic so the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer way very pragmatic and no risk taking so um we had to, I mean, we had to, uh, the, the national team and, and Andrew Nana, they had to uh, set, uh, separate actually. But in regards to Manchester United, I must say Eric Ten Hag has done a fantastic team bringing Andrew Nana to Manchester United. As I said earlier in this video, he is the signing of the season. The question is, how does Andrew Nana fit in Manchester United? We know Andrew Nana has a lot of qualities as a goalkeeper. We know he's a very good ball stopper. This is something that very few people are talking about. Uh, this has nothing to do with David De Gea. I just want to tell you guys this. David De Gea is a goalkeeper which I, I will have no problem if he stayed in Manchester United and I can tell you guys is that if Dali De Gea stayed in Manchester United he would put massive pressure on Joe Nana to the first position he seems to be someone who does well when under pressure David De Gea because he's more experienced <laughs> and um, I think what Andrew Nana brings to Manchester United is just a different playing style so for those of you who have been seeing uh, lethargic football very slow passing and uh, you know very I mean David, David uh, one guy told me this morning that uh, David, uh, Manchester United has born the goal Keeper and David Beckham. In what he was trying to say is Manchester, um, the Androna is a player that can give long passes from anywhere in the pitch because he's that good with his leg, which means this is good news for someone with space. Talking about pace, you have Mason Mount and obviously Matthews Rashford, who is known as the fastest player in Manchester United today. So I think Onana coming to Manchester United is something which will give us some hope to go for title for the title. Back in the days, in the 90s, I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, some of you are uh, my age, in the 90s, on the 80s, it was a big deal getting an attacker. Oh, there's another B now coming here. A very good thing having an attacker. But today in the modern game, having a very se a seasoned goalkeeper is so important. We've seen that with Ellison. We've seen that with other uh, top clubs. We saw how Manchester United played during uh, the finals. Uh, no, during the season when Edwin uh, Van der Sar was the goalkeeper for Manchester United. I actually watched the finals well, back in Moscow where the last time United won the Champions League, I was in the pitch and I was in the stadium and watched the finals. And you can see the difference in when you have a goalkeeper who is so confident with his legs. So this is what brings excitement for most of the Manchester United fans with Andre Onana. The question is, I've been having that uh, also is, uh, is he going to be a success? Well, it depends on what you mean success is. I saw some United fans, I said it in my previous videos here, uh, here in Spain, and they, they said they will, they, will, they will be patient with Andrew Nana, you know. And uh, this way mature people, this way people understand what Manchester United is all about, not the TikTok fans which we have, which, uh, you know, always want the new toy. For us, to, for Manchester Andrew, Andrew Nana, we need some time to adapt. I would be very surprised if he has a flawless season with Manchester United. I know his ambitions, I know uh, uh, he would like to show what, all what he's all about, 
about. But um, I think uh, the Premier League is so advanced, it's so quick, and I think he is going to have some errors, especially if he keeps coming out and getting some useless goals from from distance. You know, he will need to be smart on that. Then yes, there's also another thing I want to talk about Andy Onana, which I think is very important. Is that yes, he's no more a Cameroonian international, but uh, Ca Cameroon uh, reserved the right to call him back uh, in the national team. And during the January period, we do have the African Nation Cup. I think that that was put in the contract that Onana won't go back to the national team because um, he is clearly the only goalkeeper we have. If you are a view of the Premier League, the league is won in the Premier League during those periods, January, February, March. January, February, by March, it's already, you cannot come back. It is very, I think only Ferguson have done that once by, by coming back from the league when he wasn't doing well during January, you know, Boxing days, the, 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 the games come quick and fast in, in the Premier League. I think Andrew Nana, especially this year, Cameroon are, are playing the African Nation Cup, the AFCON, that's what it's called actually. I think he will not be participating in the AFCON this year, the next year. I think if he will be called, well, I, I, he will clearly be called the national team. You know, he will clearly be called the national team. I think he will not uh, participate. And I, I have a strong feeling that that was in the contract that the reason why we are taking you and spending this sum of money is because we expect you to play all the games. Uh, excluding uh, if you have you know uh, an injury these are things that happen tell me guys below i want to ask you a question what are the weaknesses of andrew nana if you watch till now please click that like on the video but tell me what do you think are the weaknesses as a goalkeeper a new goalkeeper come to match that i will not like andrew sonana because it reminds me i'm a bit worried about the fabian batez uh, effect when i talk about fabian batez effect i mean Fabian Bate came to Manchester United, a very good goalkeeper, also very good with his leg, he had a left foot. And by the way, between uh, Andrew Nana is good with both feet, you know, yeah. But uh, when Fabrice uh, Bate came to Manchester United, he, took, he considered some kind of silly goals. He, one of the issues that Bate had while playing for Manchester United was the lack of concentration, which he was easily found out. So that rings the bell for all of us, the old Manchester United fans, that um, Andrew Nana might face something similar. I did a reaction video yesterday about Andrew Nana. I, I, which I did lay out some of my worries in this recruitment and uh, I think um, Onana will really need to work hard to, to convince uh, the United fans and also first of all Eric Ten Hag and also the United fans that he is worth the pressure because I remind, want to remind you guys that the pressure in Manchester, being a Manchester United player and being a, a player in the, in the Serie A or in the Akal show is, is just something different. Manchester United is a world brand like Doji Cabana, like Givinci, like Nike where the scrutiny year is masked so um, it's important to, to put all that into perspective but anyway guys this is my short video i want to give a big big up to samuel leto i know he's not a manchester united fan he might be a chelsea fan he played there but for giving all these young kids an opportunity to express themselves it has healed fruit by bringing a player from Cameroon to be one of the best teams in the world, um, uh, if not the best club in the world, Manchester United. So guys, tell me again below. I just want to read your comments. I'm going now to the comments. Any comments will come. I'm going to reply. What is your opinion, opinion about Andrew Nana? Do you think he's going to be a success? Does he match the qualities that we need? Is he going to revolutionize our playing style? As many have been saying, drop your comment below. Please like all the videos and yeah, have a nice day. Talk to you soon. <music>